Here we go. Good to see you guys. Um, so hey, uh, you know, obviously start off with a little statement here. I mean, obviously it's early, but, but it was a great day to celebrate Arizona basketball uh, with all the events going on in the community. Um, uh, you know, obviously it's a special place and, um, you know, and, and I've loved it since day one, but you know, the, the longer I'm here, the more I love it. And um, it, it's been really cool. I mean, it is to have these former players, you know, embrace the program like they are and, and make the effort they did uh, to come here and be a part of this was really cool. Um, you know, the, the, you know, I got a few minutes uh, to go over and, and watch a, a bit of the of the of that loot documentary premiere. You guys are going to be blown away. I mean, I don't know how many of you guys got to go see it, but I mean, it, it was uh, really cool. And um, and so just really proud to be here and, um, and, and thankful for everything and uh, thankful for, you know, a fan base that's, you know, I can feel it really getting behind us. So let's get some questions and get Sheer over to General Benz. Let's go. Um, yeah, I mean, it was great. I mean, it, it was a great job by our administration. You know, I know Erica Barnes was leading the charge, you know, with uh, getting a lot of those former players back here. And, and you know, you, you never discount Jack Murphy. You know, I mean, he, uh, I told him to quit working like a manager. I mean, he's doing so much and, uh, and, and, and juggling so many things. And those guys did an amazing job, you know, kind of being, you know, the rallying point to get all those guys to come back here. And uh, it's just cool. I mean, it's cool, you know, I mean, to, to have, you know, Raleigh, DA, um, you know, Lowry, all these guys come back, um, you know, I mean, they, they, those guys left a mark on Arizona. And, um, you know, I, I think we should, you know, honor those guys every opportunity we get. And hopefully they'll continue to come down more and more. What do you hope to get out of something like tonight? Is it more about celebration fun or <clears throat> Well, it's, it's, I mean, a lot of things. Um, for one, I mean, it, it, you know, it, it's great to play basketball in front of a full stadium. And, um, you know, you just, you can't simulate that experience and practice. And, uh, you know, first off, I want our guys to have a good time and I want it to be a celebration. Um, I know red blue games are hard because, you know, who do you cheer for? You know, it, it's, uh, you, got, you, got, you know, your, both your teams are playing against each other for the fans. And, uh, but I just like to see our guys under the lights and see how they respond. And, uh, you know, we'll break this film down and, um, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll treat it like we would any other post game. I'm sure there's going to be uh, some really good things and there's going to be some, some obvious, thing, obvious things we need to get better at. I mean, obviously we need to get better at rebounding. We need to get better at taking care of the ball. But, I mean, I think that's, you know, par for the course for this time of year. Um, I think Umar's going to have a great year. You know, um, um, he's, he's worked really hard. He's, he's, he's ready for this opportunity. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, if he, he continues to, to, to work like he is, um, you know, I, I think he's going to be, you know, a force in college basketball. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's the old body by rounds, you know, that's what I tell him. I mean, Chris does a great job, you know, strength and conditioning wise. And, you know, J-Rock does as well, you know, in there. And, uh, you know, he's, you know, he's, he's, you know, probably going to continue to get in a little bit better shape, but he's, you know, he's his mobility and his movements so much better than it was. And uh, those guys deserve a ton of credit. And, but, you know, at the end of the day, Umar gets the most credit because he's the one doing the work. What have you heard about them boxing? Um... Yeah, I mean, on pay per view. I, I didn't get it. I didn't see that one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, maybe they're doing some stuff on their own, you know, outside. Um, just you know, I mean, I think obviously, I mean, it probably looks like a heck of a workout for cardio and, and, and for footwork and stuff like that. So. Um, well, you you guys know I love bigs, and uh, I'm probably you know a dinosaur. In, the, in this deal now where I love playing two bigs together. I mean, um, I think there's a lot of advantages to do that. If, certainly there's some disadvantages, but I'm pretty comfortable um, playing bigs together and, and developing bigs. I mean, you can see our big, I mean, I'm sure, I don't have my glasses on right now, but I'm sure if I looked at the turnover column, our bigs probably had quite a few today. And that, that's normal. I mean, we let our bigs handle the ball a lot um, early in the season and, you know, and, and and, it, and I think that's what allows us to move the ball the way we do, and we just got to kind of work the kinks out there. But, uh, but, I, but, I, but I think those four are, are, 
are, are going to be a formidable force. And, uh, and, you know, I was really happy to see Henry and Dylan have some success. I mean, you know, they've had up and down moments in practice, you know, this fall, like any freshman would. And, uh, you know, and to, and to be honest with you tonight under the lights, I thought they both, you know, had some of their better performances that I've seen. So to me, that's really encouraging. I mean, for sure. I mean, you know, I mean, obviously it's, it's lots of things to figure out. This is day four, but uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, that, that that's, you know, that's the hope is, uh, you know, we have some versatility and we can mix and match lineups and play different guys together. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't know how much this year, I mean, Dylan and Henry, you know, will we'll be on the court together, you know, playing meaningful minutes, but I definitely can see it a lot next year, you know, I mean, and that, that's what I'm working for. Yeah, I mean Henry's, you know, he's he's obviously talented and uh and he's a great kid and uh and 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 I'm glad he had some success today. Oh, wow. A lot of your guys well, well, I, I was going to finish this one here. Um um so yeah, I I I think that, you know, Henry is going to have a real impact on this team. And you know, I I mean, you look at a kid that I, I think he's going to be able to throw in some threes here and there. He's he's quick twitch. He's he's got a great second jump. He can catch lobs, you know. He's got a high IQ. He's just going to have to learn how to tighten some things up and just physically develop a little bit and get some experience, but you know, I think I think he's going to be a guy that in this system is is going to put up, you know, pretty significant numbers some night. And um, you know, I'm I'm definitely excited about him. What do you got? Well, you know, there's this thing called WhatsApp, and um, so it's not hard to stay in touch with them. You know, we're we're, we're in constant touch with them, and uh, you know, we, but we did get, you know, I, I think with maybe with the exception of Henry, we we had a good chunk of summer with everybody, and you know, Kerr Kerr really worked, and and, and you know, I mean, obviously his stat line didn't doesn't look great today, um, but but he really worked this off season, and I and I think he's. You know, I think you guys are going to see some real growth in his game, you know, inside the three-point line and stuff like that. And, you know, along the same lines, you know, Courtney. And Courtney really worked, uh, you know, if, you know, I've really challenged him on finishing, and he didn't have great numbers tonight, but I'm, I'm not sweating that. I mean, if, if my concern with this team is Kerr Creesa and Courtney Ramey, I'm sleeping pretty good at night. And, uh, and, and so, because those guys have been great all fall for us. So, um, yeah, but you know, I, I think those guys have really, I'm really challenging those guys to get better inside the three-point line, finish layups. You know, I mean, I thought Courtney had a really nice drive at the end of the first half. You know, he just kind of, you know, the, the lay didn't quite go in for him, but it was growth and the pace and the way he attacked it, and, and he's been making them in practice. So I'm, I'm, I'm fired up about those guys. Well, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't put you know, the, the pace of the game, I wouldn't put every NCAA team in the same category. Uh, you know, obviously we play fast and, and, it, and it's, it's a strength of ours and it, it, it's the fabric of our program. So, you know, there definitely is an adjustment for any kid coming into this program. And I've been talking to Kylan Boswell, like you see the pace, you know, it's real. And, and today, to be honest with you, was probably the most sustained, you know, scrimmage we've done. Um, I think with Tuesday we did maybe like a 10-minute scrimmage or something, and we've done some five-possession stuff, you know, up back. But but just, you know, the way we want to play and, and accumulate that pace and just have it kind of stack up on the other team, you know, you, you need moments like this to get comfortable with it. And the next time we play, we'll all be sitting on the same bench. So, you know, we'll be rotating in fresh guys, and we'll be able to keep that pedal to the metal. And, um, and, 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 and to me, it's uh, – you know, it, it's a great learning experience for the guys, and um, you know, I, I think we're going to be able to comfortably play at the pace that I like. I mean, Cedric's a good player. I mean, he's experienced. He's, uh, you know, he he he's savvy. Um, he's got great instincts. Um, he's had some really good moments for us and some really good days. Um, I, I mean, I'm 100% confident. You know, he's in the right place, and he's really, really going to help us. You know, um, you know over the course of the season. And and I think he's just getting a little bit more comfortable, you know. I mean, obviously, you know, coming from Campbell to Arizona, you know, for him, there's an adjustment too. And uh, and he's working himself through that, but but, I, but I'm lucky to have him and I love having him here and I'm, I'm counting on him to do big things. I know we're pretty early on, uh, but when you got ready for, for the beginning of camp, was there a message or a theme or a goal that you had for the team when you got them together this week? 
kick ass. I mean, that's what we're going to do. You know, we're, we're going to find a way. And, um, you know, we're, we're you know, I, I, don't, I don't come in usually with, um, you know, big themes or slogans or sayings. And, you know, I, I believe in letting those things organically happen over the course of the season. And, you know, as, as those things come up, we'll rally around them. But, um, you know, just, I mean, the, the, the main thing we've talked about is just, you know, growing as a team and having unrelenting support for each other. And, um, you know, and, 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 and I, I'm really confident that this team will have that. Well, well, Courtney, Courtney's a natural leader. You know, he's done a great job with that. Um, you know, I mean, I, I think as far as newcomers, I think he would be the, the the main one. You know, I'm excited to see, you know, when Kylan gets to practice because I, I think Kylan's got a lot of natural leadership ability. And, you know, but he's going to be 17 years old. You know, let, let's see if, they, if he's comfortable, you know, trying to lead. But, uh, but I think leadership of this team, we're in a good place. I mean, you know, between Courtney and Kerr and, you know, and Pella is solid. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not worried about that. Big one. Um, he's he's been awesome. I mean, he might not have played good today, but he's been really good in in all our workouts and uh, in our practices leading up to this point. And uh, you know, I mean, I I think he's going to be a, you know an all conference type player, and um, and and I'm excited for him because he's a, he's a talented guy, and you can kind of feel it coming together. Um, you know, last year, you know, he might have been caught in between a little bit coming off that injury and just kind of figuring out, you know, getting comfortable and you know. He really cares, so maybe he has a tendency to overthink some things, but I think he's got himself through that. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for Pella to be a, a big-time player in this program. Well, I, I haven't looked at your projected starter list yet, Bruce. I don't know if I'm sure I, so I, well, I don't know if we're on the same page or not, huh? But, yeah, I mean, hey, listen, I love doing that because, you know, you got to get comfortable – you know, the guys that are, you know, likely going to play a lot of minutes and play together, they got to play together. And, and I want them to play together under the lights. And, and you know, listen, I mean, I, I know you're sitting there thinking, oh, my gosh, the red team might win this scrimmage. You know, and I don't know if the scoring's right or they didn't reset it. I mean, I'm not paying attention to any of that stuff. But I thought it was a great challenge for our guys when we're down 12 with six minutes to go to, to find a way and, and to dig a little bit deeper. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and you know what? And, and, and the first thing I told the guys after the game, you know, um, you know, the, the, you know, we, we call them the green team. Some of the guys, you know, that, that just, you know, that, you know, get a lot more reps in practice, but not many minutes in the game. I thank them because they, they played great and they had a great moment and they're really good and they really, really, really help us in practice. And, um, so I'm, I'm glad that, you know, they, they, you know, that, that Grant Whiteman made that three and, you know, I don't know if I'm happy Jordan banked the three, but like he, he, he made the, th you know, almost had that tip dunk. So those guys are great dudes and, and they deserve some, some notoriety. And, uh, and, and we got a great, you know, maybe, you know, in my 24 years in college basketball, you know, I'm almost, I can't think of many, you know, you know, practice squads better than the one we got here at Arizona. And I think it's really going to help us this year. I mean, he, he's, he's had a great fall. You know, I mean, the, the, the conversations I have with Courtney are always this, let it rip, you know, and, and, and maybe say a, a few other things in private that I can't say in the media because uh, I love that kid. And, uh, I mean, you know, his care factor is off the charts. And, um, and, and you know, and, 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 and I love that he made me work to recruit him. I had to work to recruit him. That wasn't easy. I mean, like, but, but, but uh, he's, he's, he's consistent. He shows up. He's got a great attitude. And, um, you know, I, I, I think, you know, Arizona is going to be able to put a nice finishing touch in his college career and set him up for that next, that next step, whatever it may be. And, uh, and, and, and I'm going to take it really personal to make sure that I try to deliver on everything we talked about when I recruited him.